The ice that we're looking at comes from a place called Allen Hills, a partly buried mountain range at the edge of the Antarctic ice sheet. Ice there has sort of flowed from the interior and essentially kind of got stuck in little old pockets. So we drill with a special drill that takes a core uh, in the ice from the surface all the way down to the bottom. So we have samples all the way down and we look through all of those to find the old section. So there are sections there that we've realized are much older than the oldest ice we've so far gotten from the bottom of the ice sheet in other places, up to two million years old. The air bubbles in the ice, and those are bubbles that are formed when the snow originally fell and kind of cemented itself together by being buried, trapping the air. It's important to get this older ice uh, because until now we've only had ice back to about 800,000 years. And as we go back in time, we can see time periods when these gases change for natural reasons, and we can see how the climate is linked to those changes. We don't know what the oldest ice is at this particular location. We found two million. We know the Antarctic ice sheet's been there for much longer, uh, so it's quite possible that we could get older samples, and that would be pretty amazing.